You hear that noise? I don't remember closing this door when I left. Hey, get away from my laptop. What are you doing? Hey, Midwest Pricker here. I am going solo today. Little Midwest is staying home to watch Wheel of Fortune. I've got my specs on. Now the last couple times I went out into the wild to do some picking, I had my contacts in my reader glasses and I saw some nice teacups and some glass and I could not read the maker's mark. I'm like, I'm not doing that again. So I got the, the sexy specs on. So now I can see really good. I got my mini black light keep it in the car now so I'm gonna have that with me so I'm gonna do a full circle I'm going to hit my secret honey hole thrift store which I'm not gonna tell you what it is um, and then I'll hit a Goodwill a Salvation Army come back towards home hit another Salvation Army hit a restore and then come home and eat lunch I sh it's 948 I should be able to do all of that by noon be home by noon so I'll edit the video. I'll try to shoot video inside the thrift store. I know most people like to see that and you know people like Jennifer Hayes and and others when they watch the video they'll say hey I think you passed by some fence and glass or something really good. I can always go back so I do miss stuff. So there's a couple thrift stores that are really understaffed. They only have like one or two people. It's really easy to shoot video. My secret honey hole they greet you at the door <laughs> it's a mom and pop and they're really nice so um, I don't know if I'll shoot video in there but I'll definitely do an unboxing video or a, not an unboxing but a haul video of what I got and if you're new to reselling I try to help out people new to reselling so I'll tell you what I paid for the item obviously where I got it will be a thrift store unless I stop at a garage sale or yard sale on the way and then I'll tell you um, I'll look up the comps and I'll tell you what I think it's worth and how it will ship. So that will help you if you're new to reselling. Um, shipping is a big learning curve. So let's do that uh, when I get back to the eBay. Oh yeah, and I forgot, Joey's not here. He's back um, guarding the eBay office. But I do have Enoch with me on my, on my chest here. I don't know if you can see that with my big belly. I'll put a picture up of the t-shirt that looks better than me wearing it so let's hit these thrift stores the day is pretty gloomy but it's supposed to be warm like 74 75 degrees this might be the last warm day of the year here in Michigan all the trees are changing colors it's beautiful out here um, so yeah maybe I'll flip the camera around show you some changing colors there you go if you can see in the distance are these trees here different parts of the state have better trees than others I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit but you can see maybe I'll get a side shot here oh there's some nice ones right there over here We're here, first stop Salvation Army. Let's look at this glass. They have a ton of glass in this store. So let's go in there and see what they got. All right, we're in our first store. See these scarves here. This is Kat, the nurse flipper's fault. She turned me on to scarves. I went over here, nothing name brand, um, nothing that I could see that's recognizable. No Calvin Klein, no Ralph Lauren, nothing like this. And yeah, I'm looking at the tags. There's just no information. And then the prices are just way too high. So stick to bulk lots for scarves and ties if you can. Yeah, these, these prices are crazy. Look at that, $19.99. Really cool games, but when they're in the glass case, you know they know what they are. Um, stick to garage sales, yard sales for video games. You're going to pay f more than full retail 
when they have them in a display case. So this is just knickknacky stuff. I saw these books. I got excited until I saw that price tag. Whoa. Um, so I walked away from that. And this is like wood objects. Um, look at this guy. Woo. He's got a look on his face. Really cheap, inexpensive stuff. Um, those shelves are kind of cool. I could always use that in the eBay office. Looking for antique vintage Christmas bulbs. Those sell really well. Or Christmas lights. Um, that was nothing. Um, Blue House Brocanti, my sister, has done very well with vintage Christmas lights. So keep an eye out for those. I did find some vintage Christmas bulbs, but these weren't that old. You know, they're like 10, 15 years old. Not a big deal. And I'm just not in the mood to ship those. I'm just afraid they're just going to get crushed. They're just extremely fragile. Um, probably get returns on those. So they weren't that old. There were some other ones that were older. Here's a big brass platter, decorative platter, uh, smiley face pillow. Um, I just wasn't in the mood to look them up, so I just didn't get them. The Christmas stuff is all over the store. This is an end cap. I should have got this snow globe. Um, it was only three bucks. The sale is any green tag is 50% off, so I'm always looking for green tags. Now, this tin is vintage and old, um, and I know it has some value, but it does have condition issues, which I'm going to show you in just a second here. It would be a nice little wall hang, not a wall hanger, but a shelf item for the eBay office, kind of a conversation piece. And this one is a repo. There we go, reproduction. I probably should have known that, but Whammo 1, Whammo 2, Whammo 3, you know, it's just not a good condition. If it was in, you know, much better condition, I definitely would have bought it. A lot of uh, Crocs and con storage containers, nothing of real value. I thought this might be Villaroy and Bach, but it was not. And we look at the bottom there, and nope. So, as always, guys, if you see anything I missed or I should have bought, just let me know in the comments down below. This item here looked like silver, but I think it's silver plate. Um, and the reason is because I didn't see a 925 or any mark anywhere um, saying that it was silver. So I think it's just silver plate. Very, very little value on that, so I left that behind, and it was not on sale. The handle was solid, though, so it made me think twice. Yeah, it's got a lot of tarnish on it there. There's a Pyrex. I think I missed that Pyrex bowl. Um, these were cool, but no value. Just restaurant quality stuff. The green bowls are kind of nice. I do go back to those. This is like a giant head of lettuce. I have no idea why. <laughs> but not on sale and big and bulky, so I left that behind. Go back to these to see what brand they are. And you can't see it on the video too well, but it does say made in China very faintly. Um, I like that emerald green bowl. That's kind of cool. And again, made in China. So they're getting good at making, you know, stuff for, you know, Bed Bath and Beyond and Walmart that are just beautiful. Now these cups, I'm looking for Ansley cups. Thank you, Harry Humstone, um, and Cat the Nurse Flipper. These are just generic. They're nice. They're good looking, but they're just not high value. So you're not going to make anything trying to flip these. So. This one here, I don't know what that is. Royal Court, you know, it's anybody can say Royal if they want to. Um, nice, but not flippable. Bigger platters. Now here I'm thinking this might be Fiesta Wear somewhere in here. This is a nice cup. Let me know you, in the comments if you think I should have bought that. I can always go back and get it. It's a really cool looking cup, but I've just never heard of it. This I thought, woohoo, nope. It's just a regular cup, I believe. I left those behind. I like this little iridescent bowl is kind of cool, but I didn't pick that up. And this is like a Bell telephone, <laughs> 1990. I don't know who would want that, but yeah, back in the day, you know, AT and T and Ma Bell and all those guys, they were they were split up into separate companies, and it is vintagey, interesting. Don't know that I could sell it though. That's the problem. And going down this now, this is a. Uh, this is a knickknacky aisle. This was kind of cool. I couldn't tell if it was old or not. It's probably old. It's a music box. Maybe for the price I should have bought it. I don't know. It's five bucks. It's a big risk if it's if it's newish. That green thing down there is plastic. That's not uranium. Uh, I don't know what that is. Lincoln plaque or something. So they kind of group everything together. Religious items. Um, Crocs. This is a blow. Uh, that's I don't know what that is. This is like a blowfish, iridescent. 
ish, but it's nothing old. Angel statues, candle holders, they, they do a pretty good job of grouping stuff together. I was hoping there would be like ashtrays or salt and pepper shakers. There is not a single ashtray out of all this glass. This item here I have currently in my eBay store. It's a different plate, but it's made by this company here called Kettle Springs in Ohio. It's a bigger plate and a different plate, but it's just not selling. There's just not a demand for it. This one here is in perfect condition, um, but you know I don't think there's going to be a big demand at all, so I left it behind, and it was not on sale. Yeah, pig with the glass. Those are banks. That's another bank, soccer bank. Decorative plates down there are practically worthless. I got some Royal Dalton plates I can't give away, so I'm definitely not buying any more of those. That's kind of a cool bank, but eh, I passed on it. Hometown pharmacy. It's a local pharmacy here in Michigan. This was kind of cool. Dad's night out with mom. It's like a little money jar. Um, I probably should have grabbed that because it's kind of funny. And what do we got down? Big platters, decorative stuff, clear glass, moving right along, candle hold. Now this is not what it looks like. It's fake. <laughs> I caught it caught my eye from a distance, but it's smooth and painted on, so it it's not what you guys are thinking at all. Not even sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe a candlestick. I don't know. But yeah, pass. And uh, this little turtle. I thought it was brass. It's resin. I was disappointed. Solid brass. I would have bought it in a heartbeat. And you got some votives and candle holders and stuff you mount on the wall. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, shelf shot here. So this is old, new old stock. So I do say buy old electronics, but... There was no comps and no f for sale on eBay at all. So <laughs> and Nokia is bulletproof. So this is a really oddball thing, but there was nothing on eBay. So I did not want to risk it, did not buy it. I used electric shaver, Baki, I didn't get that. This is kind of cool, the Disney alarm clock, but it's really tiny. So if it were bigger, I would have bought it, but it's just really small. And this here, wow, 90 bucks, but super old technology. I don't know anybody that would even want or need that. Um, I didn't look up comps on that one at all. I just left it behind. Just too much risk. I was going to scan it, but I chose not to. It's like I got this aftermarket UPC sticker, so I was kind of in a hurry. And this is a Harry, Hol uh, Harry Humstone. Got a little Coleman lamp here. I think it takes a hearing aid battery. That would be a nice little decorative thing for the office. A little fake Coleman. These are just some items. Digital cameras do sell if it's a Sony. Or a good brand. This one, eh, I did seven bucks. You know, I don't want to take a chance, so I passed on that. This is the good old videotape rewinder. Um, some people like those. It's kind of vintagey, kind of cool looking, uh, but it was five bucks, so I left that behind. They just have a variety of DVD players, Blu-ray players. So now we're in the kind of the junk aisle. This made me laugh popular music that will live forever <laughs> no that's horrible music it's like a bunch of lps that nobody listens to anymore i thought that was very ironic now we're in the glass aisle and i did buy these these little uh little dishes one and three quarter cup corning ware little tiny casserole things um comps are pretty good i'll show you that when we get back to the ebay office um, and I think they were 75 cents a piece. They're in excellent condition. The only problem is there are no lids. So I wish there was clear lids, but there's not. So that does bring the value down quite a bit, but they do sell well. Put those in the cart. And then, yeah, I got fooled by some of these dishes. Um, these looked really nice, and then there's no maker's mark of any kind. I was like, what? But they seem well made, and they seem really good. So let me know, too, in the comments if you recognize any of these makers, um, if I should go back and get these. If I recognize them, it's valuable. I buy them. But a lot of these I just didn't recognize, so I just left them. Um, yeah, then I go down here. So they got a ton of glass, ton of dishes. Not a lot of teacups, but lots of dishes at this particular Salvation Army. These plates are made out of metal, which is really weird. They were really heavy. But I couldn't identify them, so I passed on those. Um, let's see. I'm looking for Fiesta Ware. 
um, Noritake Vintage, if I can find it. These looked really bright and colorful, but I don't think they're Royal Norfolk. I don't think they're really worth anything. Sorry for the bad camera work there. It's, I'm using my cell phone and hard to tell what you're doing. So these I did buy, six little dishes. This is, um, what is it, Double Phoenix Nico Japan. So these do well. Um, that brand, there's a lot on eBay. This particular pink rose pattern, there's very few, but these were six saucers for next to nothing. So I did buy these, put those in the cart, talk about those when we get back to the office. These I had to check because they're very, you know, robin egg blue. They look cool, but there's no mark. There's no maker mark of any kind, so who knows? Um, these look kind of gungy. I don't know what's up with that. Not just the sticker, but the ink underneath the glaze is kind of smeared around a little bit, so... Don't know what that means, good or bad. Put those back. This was plastic. <laughs> I had to give it the tap test. It's not glass. And some of this is old, uh, but old does not equal value. You have to be very careful. These are bright. I wouldn't mind just owning these because they look good. You have some scrambled eggs on that. Brighten your day. And then some of these have very minimal marking on them, just barely says anything. Hoping it would say more. Those pink, those peach ones there, I thought, oh, these yellow ones were cool, but ta-da, Pier 1 Imports. So the problem with that is you could probably still buy them from Pier 1, so they're not going to sell too well. That, nope, don't want that. The butter dish is old-ish. Um, yeah, made in the USA. So I put that back, it wasn't on sale. And those, yeah, these peach colored dishes, those draw, drew my attention pretty fast. And I, I'm flipping it with one hand, trying not to drop it. And I don't know what that is. It's pretty contemporary. It's not anything old. Put those back, got this green bowl, and nothing. <laughs> Put those back. You don't know until you check. You just got to go around and flip this stuff over. One day you'll flip it over and you'll get really excited um this one the blue seal corp let me know if that's anything it says chicago so i don't know if it has a lot of value i think i looked this up in the store and there was hardly anything on ebay so i just put it back and it's clear glass these were cool kind of a fall um pattern uh but nothing exciting that they look cool but i'm like eh harvest i don't even know what that is so i put it back some bigger pieces oh yeah so this is my for my sister blue house brocati there we go steinmart if that'll focus we don't i was telling her we don't have a steinmart in michigan and they got some alien people or something crazy on there um but i put that back and i thought this was something cool yeah this isn't a modern noritake contemporary noritake doesn't have a super value. I didn't look it up though. Maybe I should have. It's a cute little, I don't know, gravy dispenser or something. Who knows? And then let's see, I go over here, that nice purple platter. I should have looked at that one. That is nothing. These are bigger platters, cake platters, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I don't know what that is. So I put that back. This is kind of a big-ish bacon serve. I don't know what that is. I should have held it up longer in the camera so you could read it. And if it's a sticker, it is definitely contemporary and not vintage. But it doesn't mean it doesn't have value. It could still have value. Mr. Duck, how you doing? Getting to the cast iron section. I've never had any luck finding cast iron in a thrift store. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have. I mean, there's two brands, Griswold, and there's a French name, Crusot, something like that. Crusault, I don't know. Um, very, very valuable cast iron, but I've never had luck finding that in a thrift store. And we got our bowls. I did buy this one. This is my secret honey hole thrift store. This is a new thrift store. So this bowl caught my attention, and boom. Z Reich or Reich, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that brand is very hot on eBay. Thumbs up to that. A little high, buck fifty, but I took it. I don't know, is that periwinkle or blue? How would you describe that blue? 
These green plates, uh, nothing. Gibson or something like that. Put those back. And this store is much smaller, so there's a lot less to look at. Um, but, you know, I still have to check just in case there's anything that I should pick up. Yeah, one more time. Furo, Indonesia. So let me know again in the comments if I should pick this stuff up. I can always go back. This is new in the box. Not a lot of value, but whammo, look at that. Boom. Definitely not buying that. Um, going on this side over here, this is just a bunch of junk. We got the tiles here. So this is a box of tiles for 10 bucks, and normally I don't spend this much, but look, there's like 28 plus. I don't know. These are decorative tiles. Somebody glued these little cork things. So H&R Johnson tiles made in England. Let me know down below. Um, this can take a lot of research. Somebody glued like little cork discs and a little hanger so they made wall hangers out of all these so this entire box is only 10 bucks so i show you when i get back to the ebay office what's in there but i thought you know what i bet you i could sell just one of these for 10 bucks so that'd be some good money um let's see what over here this is 25 bucks for the whole box of tiles i was very tempted but then look at this i'm like yeah you have no idea what's underneath that they could be all smashed and broken um so there is demand for these replacement tiles or for art. You know, people smash these and make mosaic um, art pieces out of it. But for 25 bucks, um, no, this is just in a generic box. So there's no manufacturer information, no MRN numbers to go by. And like I said, underneath at the bottom, they could all be broken for all I know. There's another box of tile, but these are just plain plain white tile like you'd see in a locker room somewhere. They're not exciting. Um, I did really well with black tiles that I bought. Those resold really fast, really well. But these are just plain white, which you could buy anywhere. And um, so no, I passed on these. I thought, eh. All right, I'm back from the thrift shopping. I wanted to show you this overflow. This is what happens when you run out of room in your office. Wait a minute. Do you hear that noise? I don't remember closing this door when I left. Hey, get away from my laptop. What are you doing? All right, we're back in the eBay office. Joey had me scared. I thought he was shopping on Amazon again. I found this on the printer. Dear Nana Tink Treasures, I am your biggest fan. What is your favorite color? You spelled favorite wrong. I like tacos you don't like taco you don't even eat food what is your favorite food i enjoy your youtube videos take care you spelled videos wrong take care joey well apparently joey was writing a fan letter to nana tink treasures good thing he wasn't shopping on amazon again that could have been that just fell down that could have been expensive again so lesson learned i have to lock my laptop keyboard because you might get a hold of it so i'm sorry if this is your first time to my channel it's a weird introduction my name is dave i'm a part-time reseller part-time youtube content creator full-time nurse father husband keeper of joey keeper of enoch just got back from thrifting you saw the earlier part of the video I skipped a few stores. I was planning to go to six. I only went to four. Got a few good things. Um, some average things. I don't know if I hit a home run or not. Some things require a lot of research. So if you buy vintage collectible items, odd items that don't have a UPC code on them, requires a little bit of research. If you're selling like a cell phone charger cord that's new in the package, it's got the item number and a UPC, doesn't really require any research. You just scan it, you look it up, and you list it. But if you're selling something vintage and old, I'm going to get into that and show you what I source next. I'll put some pictures up too because I'm going to butcher the name. But this is a, a bowl. I think my sister Blue House Brocanti will know. Is this periwinkle? Is it blue? I'm not sure. But it is a, I don't know, a Reich, Zreich prism. A blue bowl, made in Portugal. Cost of goods is a buck fifty. It's a little higher than I wanted to. Uh, spend 
Um, there are no solds, but this brand is on eBay with some pretty good asking prices, and that's why I picked it up. I'm going to list it for $15.95 plus shipping on top. Next are these little floral saucers. You saw that in the video. I got six of these. It's called Double Phoenix Nico Japan. Other ones on eBay are called Pink Floral. Cost of goods was $0.75 cents a piece, and I got six of them. So I'm going to list them for $34.95 plus shipping on top. Next is Corning Wear. I get burned on this stuff because I think it's just so cool, but it's really not worth a whole lot. It's these little tiny one and three quarter cup little casserole mini dishes. Paid $0.75 cents a piece. I got four of them. I'm going to list them for $24.95 plus shipping on top. Now if the prices seem a little high, that's because I can always come down later. I can put them on sale too. So mine might be a little higher than average or the highest on eBay, but that's okay. I can put them on sale if they're not gone in 30 days. This next one you might think is strange. This is a Gone with the Wind double VHS 50th anniversary set. It has the original booklet with it. Um, it's not new, but when I opened it up, they looked like brand new, like they have never been used before. And this was like a whole dollar. Actually, the cost of goods was 50 cents. I'm going to list it for $24.95 plus shipping on top. The last item are these tiles. They're 6 inch by 6 inch decorative tiles. Somebody glued a little hook on the back and little cork pads. These are H&R Johnson made in England. So there are some comps on eBay, but not these exact items. It's going to require some research. Looks like it says AP there in the bottom. There are different vegetables, carrots, bell peppers. One's a, a cardinal, a bird on it. Um, they're interesting, but it's like I said, these are vintage. They're old. There's no UPC. I have to look these up. I have no idea what they're worth. I got a total of 22 of these tiles for 10 bucks. And it's kind of strange. It was just in a box. And I've got these two that look very similar, but they say made in the USA with no maker's mark, no company, no item number, the same artist that says AP there, and the same theme, vegetables, again, um, eggplant, carrots, all different vegetables. They look really good. I'm pretty sure they were decorative. You can use them for anything, uh, but I'm going to have to research who made this. And unfortunately, like I said, no serial number, no MRN, no nothing. And I can't find much of anything on eBay, so it's going to take some research. The other thing, too, is I have a stack of these. I could sell them one at a time. I could pair them up and do a lot of two, a lot of four, a lot of six. Put down in the comments, how would you sell these? I mean, they could be worth about 10 bucks a piece. Would you sell them one at a time, two at a time, four at a time, six at a time? How would you list these? And how would you describe them? I mean, it's just like... I don't know. I don't even know how to describe them. So that's the video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way, when I upload new content and a new video, you'll get a notification. Just a reminder, I go live every Sunday night at 8 p.m. I call it SNL Sunday Night Live. So tomorrow night, I'll be here live answering questions. Maybe I'll do trivia and giveaways. I'm not sure. And down below, too, I have a link to merchandise. So like this t-shirt I have, can't. you saw it earlier in the video. Um, this Enoch t-shirt, Midwest Picker t-shirt, Joey stickers, coffee mugs, cloth mask. Go down below in the description. There's a link, MidwestPicker.com, but there's also a direct link to my Teespring store. I would really appreciate that. Um, any kind of merchandise you buy helps support this channel and helps me support possibly getting a GoPro someday so I don't have to keep using my cell phone to record video. So that's it guys, hit that share button too. If you know anybody that might like this video or find it helpful, hit the share button, send it to somebody that you know is new to reselling or new to eBay that has questions. And then also I have how-to videos. Those are linked down below, how to ship, how to source, how to list, how to research, all of that kind of stuff. So that's it guys, until next time, see ya.